In this tutorial, we will see how to set the work grid settings and how to set a workspace for your convenience. And then we will see some interesting commands and options which will be very useful while working with Adams. So we make a new model. Apply OK. <clears throat> I make a solid box with some random dimensions. And if I click R, uh, push R key now and drag my mouse. So this is a box uh, made there. I make it solid so that it is visible. Now to get the work grid settings, there are two options. Either you can go to settings and working grid, or you can go down here and you can see some dots and a xy coordinate system you double click it and you get your working grid settings so this is this template is telling you how you are going to uh, see your working grid and it would be very useful because when you will be trying different things this working grid will support as uh, will act as a support so there are two types of coordinate systems allowed in atoms you can work in rectangular coordinate system by default or you can go work in the polar coordinate system if i apply polar coordinate system so you see the small white dots in the background they are shown as a uh, grid which is moving in the polar coordinate system this type of system is useful when you are drawing some circular things okay so we switch back to rectangular apply and you can enable working grid show or off and this was also enabled by the key G. Now we see how the size of the working grid helps us. So by default, in X axis, we have 750 millimeters of the space. And then we have 500 millimeter in the Y axis. And each spacing has 50 millimeter. So these white points, between these two points, there is uh, 50 millimeter of spacing okay so I have made a box and and that is according to this grid it is fixing in this space sometimes you have to change these spacings because for your object or for your model this spacing is not appropriate because of the dimensions so if I try to decrease it I make it 5 I'm decreasing it 10 times and I also, if I click apply, there will be an error. This error is telling me that MSC Adams cannot take more than 10,000 points. So when I decrease the spacing, the number of points will be increasing enormously. So in order to cope with this, I have to change and decrease the dimensions of the grid as well. It should be in such a way that total number of points should not be more than 10,000. So the grid is apparently not visible. If I rotate and I see here it is. It is very small as compared to the box I made. So this box is not uh, is very big as compared to the grid I have so, uh, selected. So you also have to select the grid based on the dimension, the work dimensions you are going to work with. So for me, five millimeter, if it that that was a very small space as compared to the total volume of the uh, solid body I was making <clears throat> so always you have to select a grid which suits your uh, settings so I can make it 1000 again and I make it 750 that was the default value so this is it so if I zoom out and I see and I rotate so this is the orientation of the grid and all the dots are being shown as in 50 millimeter uh, distance okay so going next you can show the working grid in dots or if you want it will be vanished away you can also see that if you want to show the axis or not uh, then you can also if i uh, disable axis and I apply there is no axis if I want to show the grid not as dots but as lines, it will make a mesh top type of thing. 
so this is the settings I can apply and uh, if I want to play with the triad or the way these lines or dots have to be shown I can click this and I can play with it if I put it solid it is this view if I make it dash all these lines will have a dashed uh, view if I say dot dash so there will be a combination of dots and dashes okay so like this if I have a dot only that was already selected uh, so this is something we will see all the lines are shown in dots and if I say none it is just like I don't want to see the lines uh, there is no other uh, setting so it is like this okay so this is how you play with the triad and lines normally x's and dots are shown you can also control the color of these depending of your liking but by contrast is a default option it automatically changes the grid depending on your color settings so it is good you can also increase the dimensions of these so if i increase the dots to three the dimension of the dots will be increased normally it is not uh, feasible because when you increase the size of the dots it doesn't look nice unless until you want it you, you uh, keep this weight as one so this is about the top options now we move towards the location if we go towards the location of the uh, this template it means that what is the location of your object so this at the moment is global global origin so if I press zoom and I go this point and if I see the front view this is object is placed in the global coordinate system according to the global origin if I want to change the origin and I want this origin to be somewhere else in the screen I can pick any other point so let's say if I select this one, so this is now the origin of the global coordinate system. If I set another other point, let's say this one, the global origin system is shifted here. So if I want to want it back, I can say uh, go back. So I don't need to even up click apply in this case. The next option we are working is how to set the orientation of this coordinate system. So if I press rotate uh, R and rotate it by dragging the mouse, I see this face is aligned with this grid. Okay, so if I want to change this orientation of this x-axis, I can say, okay, uh, by default it is global xy. But if I say, okay, no, I don't want xy, I want yz. So automatically this plane of the grid is aligned towards yz. So it is useful when you are making 3d objects and you are uh, you want to change your grid when you are building something because grid is always a support to give you exact location where you are going similarly you can align this with xz it will become horizontal because xz is in horizontal direction now the next thing is if you want no i want to see uh, this system this plane just uh, parallel to the to my screen so this will make it parallel to my screen to your screen so view plane option has change your plane to your view plane if, let's say for example i rotate it again and i again say view plane and apply so it is again uh, shifted to my plane so if i say no like this if i say view plane so it has again shifted myself uh, itself towards according to the plane and if i say uh, Okay, so next, uh, if I have to make the this grid parallel or aligned to some other axis, which are custom axes made by our own selves, you can see the next options because those will not will not be the global one. So let's say if I say X Y axis, the uh, software will ask me where where your X axis are and where your Y axis are. So at first, I have to define a vector where my X axis are. So if I say this is my x-axis and then I have to give a 90 degree vector to it. Let's say this is my y-axis. So the new the grid and the plane will and the x and the axis will shift itself towards new orientation. So this is how you can go to your 
all orientations i go back to switch back to global xy and i okay say okay i also do the front view or i can also use shift f so this is the front view okay 